Welcome to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. Just in this week are two LSU commitments, Wassman's Cameron Lewis and Northside's Tyler Shelvin. So joining me with more is our recruiting insider, James Smith. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Rachel. How are you doing today? Doing fine. Well, you and I have talked a little bit about Lewis. He's a, an athlete from Wassman. Uh, he's got nice size, 6'1", 195. So where do you see him succeeding the most on the field at LSU? You know, he's really got a good com uh, combination of size, athleticism, speed. Uh, he probably play on both sides of the ball, but I think his best a position in the future moving forward is that safety and that's a need position for LSU this year uh, they stand to lose Jalen Mills um, uh, Jamal Adams looks like he could be a three-year player with the way he played as a freshman and there's not much depth behind those guys in the form of underclassmen so uh, it's, a, it's a really big commitment for him to, to join the, the class right now he's the eighth commitment for the group I, I do think he's gonna play safety and it's someone that the LSU coaches really think could could surprise a lot of people and be one of the better prospects in this class Right, not one of the most highly rated players like we talked about the other week, but again, he could definitely provide some, some uh, much needed depth, like you said, at safety in 2016. But in the 2017 class, also some good news for Ed Orgeron, uh, defensive lineman Tyler Shelvin from Northside gave his commitment. Uh, that's, so that's big for, for LSU's new defensive line coach, right? Yeah, it's, it's his big first big commitment. You know, a lot of people think Shelvin is one of the premier prospects in the state. I would agree. I think he's one of the top two, three prospects in the state. 6'2", 300 pounds, really quick, really strong. Uh, and it didn't take long for him to commit. And, you know, after Ed Orgeron extended the offer shortly afterwards, almost immediately, Shelvin decided he wanted to be a Tiger. Uh, it seems like this is a dream of his and his family's, uh, and they're able to live it out. And, and this could be a sign of things to come for Ed Orgeron, who's Got a reputation being one of the best recruiters in the history of college football. Uh, there's a great class in 2016 at the defensive tackle position. I think he's going to bring in quite a haul in that group. And Tyler Shelvin seems to be one of the premier prospects in that position for 2017, not only in Louisiana, but the nation. So a uh, big commitment for LSU to get him on the board. They're really going to need a couple good defensive line classes moving forward with a lot of guys uh, set to move move on in the next couple of years. So a uh, good start for Ed Orgeron, and, and I expect many more more commitments like this down the road. Right. One of the big reasons Les Miles and LSU liked Orgeron was because of his recruiting skills and it's certainly showing right there and again it's the second commitment in 2017 for LSU joining University High's Dylan Moses. So again Jimmy always a lot to talk about in the recruiting world. Thanks a lot. Thank you Rachel. And thanks as always for watching Talking Tigers. We'll see you again Friday.